Warrior Boys back at it again, and today we have a special reaction. Now, this is considered to be the god of animation stories. I remember watching him way back. I think I was in college when I was watching it. Swoozy, you're doing your thing, man, and he's still holding it down. Mm, mm, mm. I, I think Swoozy's at what, 8 million subscribers, something like that? Keep doing your thing. I remember, man, all those times I used to watch him when I was in college, even in high school. I can't remember. I know you've been watching it for a while. So, Swoozy, let's get straight to it. Woo! And y'all thought I was old. <laughs> I'm actually kind of mad at y'all. Nobody told me this. Once you go to the gym and get that body you want, you got to keep going to the gym to keep that body you want. So, that means once you start going to the gym, you're locked in for life, bro. I'm That's so true. One thing I've noticed the older I've gotten. So, like, when I was young, I didn't have to work out much in order to maintain my physique, all right? Because your metabolism is working well, everything is good. I was in shape, but I was a gym addict. I'm gonna tell you that for sure. I was killing it out there. Now I know today kids be using the, the needles, but back then, we'll put in work, we're eating well. But the older I've gotten, I'm putting on more weight. Now I have to go to the gym more. I have to take it more seriously. I have to diet, which I never did. I'm guessing that's why they call it gym life. You gotta start eating different, buying yeah. food supplements. Yeah. Girls, you gotta be washing your hair all the time. Also, I finally got hit on at the gym. I know for some of y'all girls, you're like, I get hit on every day. For people like me, it never happens. <laughs> I'm gonna circle back to that, because I have another bone to pick. Nobody else ever told me how much laundry you gotta do when you go to the gym five days a week. I found a hack though. Now I just work out naked at home. Because look, we all want a perfect body, right? Okay. I that's crazy, all right? <laughs> Naked at the gym, <laughs> I mean at the crib, that's crazy, bro. All right, what, what you draw is all that's cool. But in it, it's your house, it's your rules. You can do whatever you want to do, I feel you. My fear is, as a guy, we have a lot of testosterone. When guys get too strong, they let it go to their head. Then they start having problems controlling their anger. Maybe at the grocery store, the checkout counter. Okay, three items, that'll be $15,000. <laughs> that'll be how much? <laughs> also, sir, do you want to donate to the puppies? I'm finna expose some gym secrets real quick. There's a secret language. And it's at your gym too, it's at every gym. People around you at the gym are saying things, they're just talking in code. Like that guy who's at the machine grunting at the top of his lungs, yelling yeah. like he's trying to summon a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we know that guy that's putting on too much weight and we all looking at him like, come on bro. And then he's gonna make sure everybody knows he's about to lift that weight. He's gonna prepare for a while, stretch, put on his headphones, start yelling real loud. And then half the times they can't even pick up the weight. Basically just screaming for attention, like, hey, everybody, look at me. Yeah. You're yelling like a DBZ character charging up to fight Gohan. Women give birth and don't scream as loud as I've seen some dude screaming in the gym. There's other <laughs> silent languages, like the silent competition. If there's two of the same machines next to each other, it's just like the arcade days. I'm wondering if that's where the term sweaty player comes from. Think about it. I'm on the treadmill walking, just trying to get my three miles in for the day. Dude gets on the treadmill next to me and starts sprinting like he's being chased by zombies. There is. I'm not gonna cap, that's me. All right, so I'm a different type of uh, cardiovascular uh, exercising maniac is the word I can use. And all right, so some people get on the treadmill and they run for about five, six miles, whatever they're doing, but they're jogging. I don't like to jog. So what I figured I'll do, I'll do a quick mile, but I'll sprint through it. So while everybody else is just having a nice jog, talking to each other, I get in, I put my headphones, and I am running fast. I am doing as fast as I can go because I'm trying to knock this out in under what? I like to do a mile in about seven and under. But that's usually me when everyone is looking at him like, come on, bro, you're doing too much. There is 30 other machines in here. You got to come next to me and be... <laughs> <laughs> There's also unspoken fashion rules. Some of these times I walk into the gym and it's like I walked into a pajama party. Some of the girls at your gym, they treat it like it's a fitness themed nightclub. Yeah. Locker rooms, completely different to me. Oh! Oh no, I can talk about the gym locker rooms all the time. The naked old people at the gym. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so this thing is weird. We need to get and talk about this as men. All right, whenever you go to the main locker room and you walk in, there's always some old man walking around butt naked. Now, the problem is there's also underage kids there as well. So what the hell is going on here? All right, come on. We got to fix that. And it's every gen I've been to. It's crazy. 
I walk into the locker room now, and there's dudes in there with their extra medium tidy whities and their pants around their ankles as they do selfie videos in the mirror. There's always the star of the show who's in the locker room, the guy who's book buck naked. Yes! I know you've seen him. Yeah! This guy could change quietly next to his locker, but for some reason, he's got a parade around the whole room. Dude, I don't... Uh, that joint be pissing me off every time. Like, yo, what the... F Dude... Put your clothes on. Put a towel on. Go take a shower. Come back. Change your clothes like everybody else. Why are you butt naked? It's ridiculous. Like it's his personal catwalk. I finally got hit on in the gym. It's hard to hit on me in the gym because I have my headphones on. I walk around looking like I'm homeless. Took my headphones off. And I was just going to check some of the texts that I was getting on my phone. The millisecond I take my headphones off, this girl runs up. Hi. So... Where did you get those Mickey Mouse headphones? Actually, I got these on Amazon. So after about four or five minutes of chatting this girl up, that voice in my head is like, this is the part where you're supposed to get the IG or the snap or her number. But then the other side of my brain was like, you know what, play it super cool. And next time you see her at the gym, then you'll get her details. So I'm like, all right, cool. Nice to meet you, deuces. Leave, guess what? I've never seen this girl ever again. This happened nine months ago. So, moral of the story, if somebody hits on you at the gym, marry them. <laughs> All right, I can say one thing for sure. I'm the type of guy that doesn't like to get bothered once he go work out. So if you're in there, I mean, I can say hello to people, but that's about it. I'm not trying to have a conversation. I'm in, I put on my headphones. I'm in tunnel vision, come in, work out, and I'm out. I'm not trying to be in the gym for five, four, five hours and have conversations with people. I'm in. I'm out. See you guys on the next one. Swoozy, shout out to him, man. I'm always subscribed to him. I've always watched him. I know you guys have been watching him for a long time. That guy is the god of animation stories. Came up with it. I'm always going to be watching my boy. I'm out.